Oh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon to all. This is Shivan Dragon here, BFH Gaming. Welcome back to Old Timers Farm. So, we are here on the map today. This will be our last day on the map. Uh, we're going to actually move over to Brooks County. So, to get this day underway, we're going to get our harvest done. Finish up the harvest of soybeans. Uh, we'll be taking the soybeans, the corn, the oats, all with me to um, Brooks County. So, to the new map, we'll be taking all those. Sorry if I'm making anybody sick out there with a little my uh, bad driving, but you know, it is. It happens. Um, We'll also be taking the silage across, the straw across, uh, the grass never did turn into hay, and I kind of ruined the field while I was fast forwarding time in the last video. Um, I wasn't going to post the last video because I really butchered up the... Um, intro or a couple of the recordings in there due to uh, phone calls and me turning mute off and back on and everything so I wasn't going to record it or wasn't going to upload it but I will have uploaded it uh, so got the GPS turned on and away we go harvesting soybeans uh, we are going to take at least part of our equipment from this map over. I don't know how much we're going to take over. Uh, but we will be taking some of our stuff over. Uh, I don't know what combine we're going to have yet over there. Um, haven't quite figured all that out, but I do know that that will be our map and everything. Uh, so how's everybody doing today? Hope everything is uh, going good for everybody out there in the world. Still. Uh, just gonna chill. We're gonna get this done. This is our last major task to get done. And then once we have this done, we will go make sure everything's taken care of. A um, couple questions. Should I take the steam tractor, steam tractor, and the farm hall across? Uh, I'm not taking the dozer for sure. Uh, I'm thinking of taking the steam tractor. Uh, I'm thinking of taking the farm hall over to the Montana series. Um, but I do need a front end loader tractor over there. I'd a decent front end loader tractor over there, so. Um, pretty sure we're going to run at least an 8R. We'll probably have a 7R. Uh, everything will be from large tractors, I can tell you that much. Um, we might have a medium tractor in there. Um, our medium tractor would be like a 6R size wise. That's, that's just what I'm thinking right now. Uh, we will be doing John Deere primarily. But you never know. We might demo some case equipment or some New Holland equipment a little ways down. I'm so far lacking the map. I've played on it a little bit. I've tested out the worker extensions for the AI enhanced vehicles and they work okay. Um, I will probably have to run headlands on the field for at least the first pass um, because the header kind of goes off the edge of the field and into trees. Um, 
I didn't have any major FPS issues or anything like that when I started up the map. Um, as for how much land and everything we're going to own over there, we will start with probably what we have on the map, what we start with on the map. Um, excuse me. Sorry, I'm recording this at 12.36 in, at night, so a little bit tired, but hey, this is the time when I get to work and get to do a little recording and have a good time, so my little relaxation before bed. Um, I don't know. Uh, we're probably going to, we'll start out with the main farm, and we will keep that. As far as um, we might get pigs, we won't get pigs right away, I can tell you that much. Uh, we'll probably get chickens, and we'll get chickens pretty quick, um, mainly because chickens are relatively easy and eggs do pay pretty good per thousand liters. So. Uh, we'll probably get the chickens pretty quick. Uh, cows may come pretty quick because we're going to take all the silage, hay, um, that would have been hay, and straw that we have over to there. Uh, I am going to actually try and run the Maze Plus mod on the map. It is not Maze Plus ready. But uh, with a comment that I have made on the um, Taylor Made Modding Facebook page, um, they said the mod would probably work because uh, he's not up. They're not up there with the heat counts yet that high. So it will. Uh... Sorry, yawning again. Um, it'll probably work, but he did not say. Yes or no. So I'm going to kind of play the map for a little bit and check it out and see how it works. Uh, I am going to switch over and start recording more on the Montana series. I have put um, one video for it out there right now. Um, so it is out there. Uh, and it's going to be a logging <clears throat> small equipment logging map. Small equipment logging series, basically. That is the, my best way that I can put it. That is what we're going to do with that one. Uh, it is... We're building, building out the yard. We don't have a silo or anything right now. We're getting everything set. Um, I did try and record a video a couple days ago, and the recording got messed up, my inexperience, uh, and I had already saved the game. So I've kind of cleared out an area, but I have not taken out the tree stumps and everything yet, and flattened the area to get it ready to put buildings on. Uh, I am going to try and build more of a proper yard on that one uh, because it's just got you get a farmhouse and a garage building and the garage building actually does nothing so excuse me I'm a lot tired than I thought um, yeah, the garage building actually does nothing. Uh, there's no doors or anything that open, but I'm kind of putting stuff around it so that it kind of looks the way it should. I put the um, MF seed shelter, MF uh, seed hut, and fertilizer by points, just so we don't have to go buy fertilizer and everything. We have a buy point for it on the farm. That would be the uh, main reason why. 
get that little bit and then we're going to turn around get this last little line right here and then we will be good come down here reset the track tell it to go um, so I've got those placed right now I'm probably going to be adding in one more tractor, and if I take the farm haul over, it'll be two tractors. Um, I'm thinking about adding a two-wheel drive Ford tractor. Um, as for which one, I kind of like the old beat-up one that I have, that I had at the dealership on this map. Um, we're just going to have to see how it acts when I put it in the game, if it kills my uh, frames or not, because... I do have a few mods that can do that to me. That the um, my frames per second just go horrendously, horrendously bad. So that's um, pretty much my plans right now. Uh, I am trying to get that map ready. To I'm going to try and get Bucks County. Yeah, Bucks County, not Brooks. Ha ha ha. ha. Uh, realized I said that earlier. Uh, trying to get, I'm going to try and get Bucks County set up. Um, play on it for a little bit. The way my save game I have right now to the side. Make sure Mace Plus, everything works. Um, figure out some of the stuff. I'm going to try and also use the Manure System mod by Wobster. Uh, and I know there were other gen the other guy is in there with him, but that's that is the one guy that I know the name I re remember for the Monero system mod. Um, but I'm going to try and use that with um, Maze Plus with Seasons. Uh, the Straw Harvest DLC is also turned on. Um, I do have the grain drying mod installed <clears throat> and agri zeland trades um, I don't won't have a grain dryer to start on there but maybe that's something we kind of work up towards we'll have to see uh, that's got 5,000 liters of corn in it that won't come out Go ahead and turn that guy off. I do not believe I'm going to bring this truck across. I'm going to use a different one over there. Um, I do like this truck. It is um, the one that Rabbit Squirrel Gaming uses on his Facebook streams. So he has a um, Good guy to go watch. It's very inner his streams are very entertaining, I will say that much. Um, I uh, usually end up having a pretty good laugh with his streams. So um, a couple of the other YouTubers I watch and kinda have taken a little bit of inspiration from. Try not to do exactly what they do, but you know, take the inspiration, because I'm very new to this. Um, DJ Goham, one of the guys. Um, I love watching his streams, the way he interacts and everything. Uh, Clutch Simulations is another really good guy to watch. Um, Daggerwin, uh, especially if you love roleplay and the realism part. Uh, I am only semi-realistic. Um, more not than actual realistic. Uh, but he does a uh, phenomenal job in my book. Um, another very good realistic farmer is Virtual Farmer. Um, he actually did the realism experiment. And I have not been able to watch his videos. I have only heard them and seen him hanging out in a couple of the streams. 
Uh, that's... Uh, I know I'm missing a few. I'm hung on something there. Oh, there we go. Uh, another one that I've come across recently is uh, Mouse2222, and I will um, try and link his channel in the description below here. Um, joined up onto a Discord server, and he is actually on there. And watched a little bit of one of his streams. He does a little bit of roleplay and everything in there, and... It's it's a good string. It's a, he does a really good job with it. Um, he does a better job than I can do. Um, that is something that I am not that good with yet. Is doing the role play game, role playing. Trying to see if this other corn will dump out or not. Tip side front. Tip side back. Nope. Okay. So we need to figure out how much straw is over there. Because right now... Or how much silage, because... I think there's five 4,000 liter bales, if I remember right. 10, 10, 10. So there's one 4,000 liter bell. I saw a flash up there for a second. There's another one. Two. Three. Object too heavy. I must not have super strength turned on. I'm going to call it five 4,000 liter bales. And um, there were 42 bales altogether. So. Excuse me, I'm going to hop out and make a note here in my notepad. Um, so, be 30. I'm going to round it off. 35, 10K. Um, and 5, 4K. I'm going to round it off at just 40 bales. That's going to be the easiest way for me to do it. As for the rest of the crops. So we have 10,000 liters of barley, basically. Oats is 67, 67,000 liters. So the barley was actually what came with the map. So oats is what we did, and that was 67,002. 006. My apologies on that. Now I could be doing this on a different computer, but oh well. Um, soybeans is 26,419. Corn is 66,547. And I think I put, I, can't, I know how much straw we've got. Uh, 
And we did not get into any of the multi-crop stuff in this map, but that's okay. Because um, this one has carrots, clover, probably that's what that is. Onions, carrots, clover, lettuce, cabbage, red cabbage, hops, poppies. There's a lot of crops in this map that we did not even get to. It's just the map is not... It's not jiving. It's the best way I can put it. Um, as for the hay, uh, what I'm going to use is the silage numbers for the hay that we did not get to make and just call it um, we'll call it 35 350,000 liters of hay. Because I was going to just pick it up loose anyway, so I wasn't going to wrap it. So I'll take, um, that's another 20, so we'll call it 3, we'll call silage 370 and hay 370. Call it 370,000 liters on both of those. So we may sell some of the silage. We may go ahead and bring cows in and get them started. Um, for now, I think I'm going to keep this 8970. I might, no wait, I'm going to change this. The worker did not like this tractor, so I will be changing this one out. Um, I'm probably going to put a big butt in. I like the big butt tractors. Um, I watch Welker Farms. I like the big buds. So you'll probably see a big butt in here with a Welker logo on it for um, Bucks County as long as the tractor fits around the map okay I'll be testing that out I'm gonna keep the high-speed discs I like this high-speed disc I like this mower setup we might change it up we're gonna see uh, we might be changing that up after the uh, convertible and DLC comes out I did get that one uh, the wrapper, I just need to go tweak the wrapper speed setting on that. Tether's a tether. Windrow's a windrow. Uh, Baylor, we might change up. Say, will we, we will be keeping a 7 and an 8R. Will they be the exact, these exact same models? I don't know. Um, as for the sprayer, we will have a liquid sprayer. For the solid sprayer, I'm going to get my 50 meter sprayer. I'm using the 50 meter on that map. It's got some big fields. Um, as for the wagons and such, I don't know. The trucks, um, having a little issue with this mod, so I might chain out for one of the different OK mods, OK use mods. I do like their trucks. I do like those. But this one's just giving me a little bit of issues, and it might be because of the realism mod. Um, and this other map does have dynamic mud on it also. So with added realism plus dynamic mud, that may throw me for a little bit of a loop. So that is going to do it for Old Timers Farm right now. Um, I've had a good time on this map. Say so it is a good map. So go out, download it, take a look at it. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, that's pretty much it. So I will see everybody on Montana here very shortly. Uh, a little bit more often and while I get ready for Bucks County. So everyone, have a great and safe, happy day. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.